sweet dancers, I am so stoked to announce that I have another live dance workshop this month. On August 30th from 9 a.m. to noon p.m. <laughs> Pacific Standard Time, I'm hosting a ballet workshop. So, that very first hour is gonna be an open level ballet class. We have bar, center, across the floor, the whole shebang. That second hour is going to be a choreography class, so you're gonna learn a brand new ballet routine set to some popular music. And that third hour, drum roll please, an interview with Katherine Morgan, Miami City Ballet soloist and just all around beautiful dancer. Um, we're gonna interview Katherine and learn about her epic return to the dance world and everything that she learned along the way. So get your ticket to three hours of live dance content. I can't wait to have you. These workshops are honestly so fun and I love talking to all of you. So if you're on Instagram, swipe up. If you're on YouTube, go to the video description or the pinned comment and click the link and I'll see you there. Hey sweet babies, today I'm gonna to be teaching you beginner ballet turns. So these turns are something that if you're a dancer, you need to know them. We're gonna go through our chenets, our piques, our step ups, pirouettes, and even into your fuetes. So these five little guys right here are must knows. So grab some space, let's do it. Okay, so our very first one is your chene. I'm gonna show you from the front and then I'll flip around so you can truly follow along. You wanna start with a nice tendu devant, so a tendu to the front. Your arms are gonna to come to a third position. Your chene steps out, up onto a releve. The arm and the leg that's on the side away from where you just stepped come in to meet the other. And then you reopen over the same shoulder. So if you're doing a right chene, you turn over your right shoulder. If you're doing a left chene, you turn over your left shoulder. Open, left, and left. Let me show you from the back. All right, so from the back, we start with our tendu devant, making sure that your shoulders are pressed, your chin is lifted, and your legs start out nice and straight. We're going to elevate, step up to a chene, and close. When you are facing your front, which for me is the wall, my arms are open. When you're facing your back, your arms close to a fifth on a vent, so right in front of your body. Open and close. And open and close. Then you keep going till the end of time. Number two is your PK turn. PK means to prick, so there's a little bit of sharpness to this turn and it has to do with the way that you step. Begin the same way as your chene with a nice tendu devant, arms in third. This time you're gonna have a bend in that supporting leg. Your front foot is going to rond de jambe to the side and you're going to PK prick up onto that releve as the other leg comes to a passe. Your passe comes underneath, actually it's technically a retiré because it's not a passing movement. Anyway, nerding out on ballet vocabulary, it's fine. Your retiré comes underneath your knee and it's nice and zipped up and really tall. So let's do that again. Tendu de devant with a plié, shoulders down. You're gonna rond de jambe, step up onto it and retiré. Now, I just realized I'm pulling my retiré to the back of my knee Depending on your teacher, depending on the style of ballet, whether you're doing jazz, lyrical, blah, blah, whatever the choreography calls for, ask if it's underneath your knee or behind. Neither is wrong, but it's really dependent on the teacher. Let me flip to the back and show you. All right, so we're here in our third position with our arms and our tendu devant with our legs. We're gonna plie, bras de jambe to the side, PK up. Notice that my arm reaches out with my leg, then comes to a circle in front of my body. A fifth on the ball. Good job. Okay, so this next um, technical skill is your step up, sometimes called a lame duck. We have a little, a little duck right here. Um, your step up looks like this. You plie, and then you step up on a straight leg. For the people in the back, a straight leg. You lift up, and then you come down. Not like that, maybe in like a little situation. Or you would go into different turns. But let's break down that movement. So to start out nice and clean, start with your tendu devant again. The leg that's in the front is going to plie here. So my front leg is bent, 
My back leg is straight. Okay, I'm leaning into the bent knee. Now, as my arms come to a circle in front of my body, my fifth en avant, my straight leg swings forward. The swing forward is how you're gonna step up onto that straight knee. Arms come to a circle. Let's go from the back. Okay, so same thing here. We have our tendu devant arms in third. You plie. You're going to step up on that back leg, straight knee, and turn. Hey, my loves, if you want extra Miss Ati content per week, make sure to go to patreon.com slash Miss Ati. Um, I have six different membership levels for you to choose from, and you can have content that's not on YouTube or Instagram delivered right to your inbox. Like what, Miss Ati? Like, like flexibility vlogs, like advanced technique, like... Get out of here! I, I was excited, that last one sounded cool. You guys, there's so much stuff on Patreon, seriously. There not there like a hundred and something posts that are on there? Oh. You're not seeing them, but if you go to patreon.com slash missati, you can check it out and see if you wanna join. All right, moving on to our fourth turn, our pirouette. I'm sure you've heard of your pirouette. Um, I usually do my parallel pirouette tutorials for you guys, but today we're gonna do our turned out one because this is our ballet turn vlog. So I'm gonna have you start from a beautiful first position, heels together, arms on bob, I'm gonna lift up on Yvonne, tendu to the side. This leg that's out is gonna rond de jambe back, okay? You're gonna plie in your fourth position. Let me show you from the side. When you plie in fourth, you wanna make sure that your weight is centered. Some teachers might teach you to put your weight forward, um, but for me, we're gonna center our weight here. From there, that back leg is going to come up to a retiré. This time it's really under your knee in the front, and you're going to turn around, okay? Now, let me show you all together. So we go en bas, en avant, tendu, rond de chambre, plié, and turn. Maybe land it better. <laughs> let me show you from the back. All right, so from the back dancers, we have a first position. We take our arms lifted, tendu to this side. Rond de jambe, keeping your foot connected to the floor, go through a demi-point to plie. From here, we bring it up, and then we land. <laughs> Last but not least, we have our little fouette. This is not a beginner turn, um, but it is a staple in ballet. It's a staple in a lot of different dance styles. Um, and it's kind of a good progression from the rest of these turns. I thought I would just throw it in there. You're like, get to it already, lady. All right, so same thing from the first position. We're gonna tendu to the side. Now, the nice thing is you already learned how to prep for a fouette. It's the same prep as your pirouette. So once you land your pirouette, you're gonna do a single. It's hard to do slow. You land it, you're going to plie to the front with your leg extended. It's directly in front of you. From there, it's gonna to open to second and it's going to whip in. Fouette means to whip, so we're gonna plie and whip. Now that whip is what rotates you around, okay? Plie front, open side, whip it in. One more tip, when you plie front, and then you lift it to the side, this supporting leg straightens. So you're going plie, straight, whip. Let me show you from the front, from the first position, tendu, and pirouette, plie, whip. Let's do that again. Seven, and tendu, plie, and through, and through, and through. Catch me. Oh. Oh. Got it. Okay. All right, on a serious note, facing the back, it looks like this. We go out, we plie, we go turn, fuerte. Let me do it one more time. It's tricky to see it if you don't go it slow, or see it slow. Quick tip, you can actually play this video back at a slower tempo. There's like a little toolbar at the bottom of the video by the little scrub guy that you can watch it slower, <laughs> okay? Technical, technology turns. We go out, plie, we lift, fuerte. Yes! 
All right, dancers, thank you so much for following along today. I hope that those five little ballet turns were fun to learn. Um, those are pretty like fundamental in dance. So knowing your chenets, your piques, your step ups, your pirouettes, your fouettes are gonna help you with a lot of other technical skills. Turns are a big part of dance, so getting the basics down is really important. Before I sign off, I wanna say a big thank you to our home studio, Fringe Dance Studio. Um, check them out at fringe.dance and on Instagram at Fringe Dance Studio. We love them, their space is beautiful, and I'm super excited to be teaching here. So check them out, do these turns, let me know how they go, and I'll see you later. Okay, you guys, in college, Matt and I used to always do partner pirouettes and partner lifts. I can't resist. And we're gonna try it out. Oh, it's been a minute, let's go. It's easy. Dun, dun, dun.